So you want to top dress or level your lawn. There's a few things you want to have in place and set up ready to go in order to make the job go way easier. Hey everyone, Rob the Average Lawn Guy here to simplify your lawn care in order to make your life easier. So first things first, I'm going to state the obvious. You cannot do this when the ground is wet and you cannot do this when it's raining or there's a chance of rain. So you want to make sure your ground is totally dry and you want to make sure that there's no rain in the forecast for at least a day or two. You also want to make sure that your turf is cut as low as you can make it. The lower the grass, the better you're able to work the material in. This does not work very well if you have tall grass. So lower your height of cut. Also just make sure the material you're spreading is dry. You want to make sure it's not wet or even partially wet. If it is, just open the bag and let it sit out in the sun for a few minutes. Depending on how big or small the job is, you're either going to go and get a couple bags of either compost or you're going to get a couple bags of play sand. I like play sand, but you can use masonry sand also. If you're dealing with a larger job, this is where you want to go to your landscape supply store near you and just order a top dress sand, which is sand that meets USGA standards and specifications. You can have it bulk delivered right to your driveway or you can get sand and compost mixed in together and have it delivered to your house. Now I tackled this project last year in my front lawn and I can tell you right now you need to be prepared for a lot of labor. You want to mentally prepare yourself and you want to make sure you're able to start early in the day. The items you're going to need, you're going to need some type of rake with a flat back side to it. This will help you spread the compost and sand around. What's also helpful is some type of push broom, a wide push broom, which is going to help get the sand into the ground. But I'm telling you, to make your job go much more easier, you want to invest in a leveling rake. Nothing beats a leveling rake and I highly recommend you invest in a leveling rake. It's something you're going to use year by year and it's going to come in handy. As for the type of material you want to use, it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. You can use just straight compost, you can use just straight sand, or you can use a mixture of the two. You see, sand alone has good leveling properties and if your ultimate goal is to level out your lawn or level out a spot, you can use play sand or masonry sand. Now if your ultimate goal is to feed your soil or add organic matter to your soil, you want to use just straight compost, but compost does not have any leveling properties and if it does, it's going to be for a short time. Another way you can go about this, you can get the best of both worlds. You can use compost and sand mixed in together. You can use either an 80-20 mixture or you can use a 70-30 mixture. Last year on my front lawn, I used a 70-30 mixture from Supersod. It was a leveling mix. Now what you see me do right now is put in sand. I'm using play sand and I'm putting it down on small little dips I have near the patio. Now the main thing to keep in mind is you want to work this in. Once you put it down, you work it in into the soil. Because I have Bermuda grass, Bermuda is a little bit more forgiving. But any other grass type, you really want to work it in to allow most of the grass blades to stick out. And like I said before, Bermuda is very forgiving. So I can pretty much cover 50% of the Bermuda and I'm still fine. The next footage you see me is actually laying down just strictly compost. When you're using compost to top dress your lawn, there's a few things you want to be careful of. First, anything in the bag, I find a lot of times they'll contain wood chips or some type of hard material you want to screen out. If you don't have a way to screen out whatever is in the bag, I don't recommend using compost. But if you choose to use compost, you'll have to screen it out. My recommendation is to use strictly play sand or masonry sand for any leveling project you may have. If you're really set to use compost material or a mixture of compost with sand, I would recommend having it bulk delivered to your home. It's filtered and screened and you don't have to worry about any wood chips or rocks. By doing compost, I'm feeding the soil and that's going to encourage better Bermuda growth. I'm not too concerned about leveling the lawn here, but using compost is the same thing. You want to work it in. Now the next footage you see me doing is actually mixing my own mixture. I'm taking two parts sand and one part compost and I'm putting it into the wheelbarrow. You want to mix it really well and try to combine the materials the best you can. Once that's done, I just go to where I want to put this down. I'm taking the wheelbarrow and just laying it in piles. Remember, this is a small project right now. In about two weeks time, 
I'm gonna have a bigger project in which I'm gonna level the entire yard. But for now, it's a small project, so it's much more manageable just to get bags of compost and play sand. And the same thing applies. You want to work it in. That's the key. Work in whatever mixture you're using, whether it's play sand, compost, whatever the case is, you want to work it in into the soil. Now here's an after picture after I spread all the sand and compost around my yard into different spots. You can see those spots are going to look ugly and it's going to look ugly for a while. It's going to look ugly for about a week to two weeks, but after that it's going to come right back up. But the main thing is you want to water this in. Water will allow the grass to bounce back and recover. The whole point of watering is to allow the material to get down into the soil. Hope you found this information useful guys. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more future content. And if you haven't seen the video yet, be sure to check out this video right here. It talks about how I handled my lawn leveling project and it'll give you an idea exactly what to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.